All right. First update in two weeks or so. Let's do it. Uh, there's some positive things to report. I've you know, got into a rhythm. It's been more or less maintained. Haven't missed a day. Been able to get myself out of bed when I couldn't in the past. I've had an interview now, and it appears that in the near future, I'm likely going to have some part-time work to be doing. So that would be nice to stay busy. And I plan to get back into streaming starting Friday. And I'm not sure if I'll be as active, but I'm ready to be social at least a little bit. And I'm mainly excited for the Gen 4 remakes for Pokemon, and we'll be grinding those this next week. But interest in Deluxe is going up again in the last few days, so we'll see where this goes. Despite the uh, positive stuff, it's not all great. It feels like a lot of unfortunate happenings are still appearing around me. And it's still incredibly hard to stay positive when I keep seeing awful things really going on in front of me. Uh, I think my biggest fear is investing time into something, you know, that's not guaranteed to you know, be a success or anything. You don't want to put a bunch of time into something that won't matter. Or, and you know, there's a lot of reminders everywhere that each of us individually don't really control everything. As a matter of fact, we control really little. So I know it's true that you can't think of these things because, you know, believing that you aren't impacted by outside forces, you know, that raises your odds of success. But some days I have are very productive, but there's others that... I don't want to really exist. And you have to get through those days, right? And some of them in particular have been kind of awful. I can't control when it happens. But with this being said, I'm not going to push myself to stream unless the conditions are right. But we're going to get back into it. I'm feeling a little bit better overall and proud of where uh, the direction of my life's going. So if you're interested in chatting, I'd recommend joining the Discord in the description and we'll see when I go live, you, you'll see when I go live that way and we'll have a happier time over just focusing on games and stuff. I may start doing VOD review too also. I think i uh, got some good stuff to look at. Gameplay that's not making me feel like I'm just upset looking at it, so that's kind of exciting for me. Alright, next up, let's talk about the charity FFA this last weekend. Uh, this is the third one that we did for Deluxe, working with Type 9 Grand Prix. The first event was special, I would say. Uh, the second one last year was kind of rough. You know, last year was weird in general. So, you know, going into this event, I was feeling hopeful that we could have another good one. But I started to lose a lot of faith, you know, as the days approached. Signups were relatively slow. And we literally could not lock down a stream host until, like, the day of. And, you know, this is like an event where you need a stream host. Because it's a charity event. You need a stream, you know, good vibes and all that. I also had not casted uh, an event in many months, so I was uh, somewhat nervous about that also, but we're through it now. In the end, we get to tournament day and run an 85-person bracket. Not bad. Cast the top 48. Goes pretty well. Pretty insane ending. Uh, watch it on YouTube if you haven't already or something. Uh, yeah, 120 viewer stream in the finals, and we raised nearly $700, so cool. That's great. Uh, it wasn't as crazy as the one in 2019. But I would consider this a wild success still, and it passed my expectations. But coming away from this, my impression is that we can still run really nice events on the site, but there's a few obstacles in the way of that all happening, and I don't think I can fairly explain everything on my mind right now because it's really a giant web. You know, the issues and stuff. And we'll get through it eventually, but gotta find ways. Uh, we need to find a way to make these tournaments worth it. And I can't help but think back to, you know, the Mario Kart 8 era, the Wii U one. Uh, back then, the community was smaller and we had less resources. There's less teams to play against and less parity in the events of that. But for some reason, I felt that everybody was motivated and that everybody really turned up for everything. And it was an interesting vibe. Everybody kind of knew everybody. I know we're not going to get to that anymore, but it'd be cool if you know we had a more active player base that was willing to talk to each other and all of that. Uh, you know, back then, there was no lounge, there was no summit. So I guess the one perk, you know, for the uh, tournaments at like noon or one Eastern, you know, kind of like this charity event, is that they were, you know, the premier tournament of its type. We didn't really have anything that was considered more prestigious. So if you wanted to win something big, you showed up to these tournaments. And we don't really have that advantage anymore. And as a result, the traditional, you know, noon FFA kind of plummeted in popularity the last year or so. And I don't think that's a great thing. The other thing is that the skill gap, the community is, you know, really high right now, and a lot of players prefer to play with uh, people around their skill level. No longer are we in the days where the community seems to be interested or involved in everything, 
And I don't know if we can change that completely, but you just want to get enough people interested in this stuff that you can always have good events whenever you want, and that'll make them more attractive for newcomers and so on. Uh, the conclusion I've uh, made is if we want better events, we need to start finding ways to make people, you know, want to be involved in them. And if we were to run a charity tournament, you know, in a few years with a larger community, on top of one that was in ver that was very in tune for our events, I guess, these types of events are the ones that may get talked about, you know, on internet news pages even. These could be really cool stories. We are going to make MKC an amazing community, but the road to becoming truly great is going to be tough. And I've talked to many people who have had doubts, and I'll just say this. The road to becoming truly relevant, even potentially in the mainstream of the internet, is not as far off as it may seem. The road's going to be rocky, but this is nowhere near impossible. Matter of fact, I think we're trending towards it. There are a lot of problems down the road that I can't really explain yet, and we're going to have to fix them. And a lot of them aren't relevant right now, but, you know, I understand some of the trends that are happening. And all I can say is that if you truly want this game and community to take off, then I've just got a simple challenge for you. And that's to get outside of your comfort zone a little bit on occasion, try something new, or talk to somebody new. And be pleasant, because down the road it's going to be important that we are inclusive towards people. Which is different, by the way, than not, or is different than being not exclusive. Sometimes as representatives of a group, you know, we need to be the ones that encourage others and to be generally positive. And at the end of the day, the people, you know, who are the most active at the game and all of that, they have the most to uh, really gain out of this. Because, you know, if the, you have a bigger player base, your tournaments start to matter more. You may be able to start getting more viewers for streams. You may get more money out of prizes for tournaments. So we'll see. And the same goes for really the opposite. You know, obviously you want people to be approachable and nice. But it's easy to be toxic in this game because, you know, like tournaments and lounge, you have these chats and there's bad luck. But you never really know how someone's going to react to what you say. And I just want to remind everybody that the people you talk to online are real people. And we all need to sit back and remember that sometimes. And I've had my moments of frustrations, but I do try to make an effort to keep, you know, angry or mean-spirited fast myself. And all I can say is that I encourage you to be inviting because you'll feel better about it down the road. And additionally, it may open up some new friendships that you weren't even expecting. We're going to overcome these problems moving forward. And a lot of the things I feel like could become issues, I already have some proposals to try to bypass them when we get there. Or even a little bit ahead of time. You know, sometimes the solutions aren't easy, but that's life. But anyways, with that being said, I think it's time to wrap this up because I'd just be rambling if I continued. And I think I'll open up on what I think some of these problems and are in the future, as well as some solutions. Because, you know, uh, some I, I think a lot of these, I, I think where a lot of these time just needs to pass and we need to inch closer before I want to really get into it. Because, you know, got to focus on the present a little bit. But I just want to present them in the right way as well. So, you know, stay good, stay good to each other, and I'll see some of you on Friday with the Pokemon streaming later, and have a good one.